So for um, charging with the iCharger, uh, pretty much their, their software is very much similar between all the different versions. Um, so I've got the 406, um, and you can see I've preset a whole bunch of charging cycles in there already. So, light, standard LiPo, so that's the, the standard preset that comes with it. Charge it 2 amps. Um, an actual 2 amp, uh, 10 amp, 15 amp, 20 amp, 25, so on. A 30 amp cycle, so this will do a discharge and a charge. And a 20 amp cycle. Uh, so, pretty much the way we set them up, uh, is we we hold the select button and then you'll get a, another menu so with the um, with the little side toggle wheels that you get with the little x6s so that's like pushing it in uh, so when we go to add uh, and then this is where we can rename it So I'm just going to call it whatever I need to do, just for this. And type is LiPo, so cells is is auto. Um, so the reason I leave it in auto is if you want to charge 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S, it'll detect the cells automatically. But if you like, you can actually change it to suit an actual battery voltage so if you plug the wrong battery in it'll tell you um, but I use the same same sort of setup in all of mine uh, capacity I ignore and then I go into my programming so here I cycle through my charge uh, this is where you set the current so current is uh, normally depending on the battery so if I go back out so pretty simple one that's a an 810 uh, 8100 milliamp battery so one times its capacity or one of one of its capacity is 8.1 amps um, so depending on how much you want to charge or how much the battery can take uh, 5c or 1c uh, depends on how many amps you can charge at uh, but generally I'm charging it ridiculous rates just to, to really shock the battery so say 10 amps um, balance type so we have normal balance which I normally use on, on most of mine uh, fast balance so it'll charge a little bit faster um, you can set your own or you can slow balance or no not no balance right, but generally uh, fast or normal is probably about where you want to be and charge mode that's the balance point and the end current uh, I don't need that. I want to uh, set the end current so that's the volts per cell so 4.2 volts is pretty standard but we can take it up to the maximum depending on what your uh, format will allow so with no prep racing it's 8.44 volts so 2 times 4.22 gives me 8.44 so I can set an end voltage and advance uh, nothing, nothing I really do in there and go back into here so storage I'll leave that basically as it's set um, and discharge uh, so this was 10 amps so I'm discharging at 10 amps as well and so this is the so not storage so storage will be 3.85 but if I want to like get the battery down to it's a, a low working so not flat but a low, well flat for a lipo but not zero um, but this really kind of helps circulate all the chemicals 
in the battery. So we try and you know, really drop the battery down. So this will drop the battery right down to, to three point. Like you don't use it. Uh, basically you drop it and then you charge it back up from this point. And then this one's really key if you're using different types of discharges. So um, I'm going to, so renewed of discharge off means that the, whatever's in the charger, uh, how many amps it can discharge at, it will use. If I use uh, to input, uh, these charges can be run by battery, like a car battery or, or other sets of lipos. So you can discharge it back into what's powering it. Uh, if you're using a power supply, like I'll go back out this setup, so this won't be able to, to discharge back into the power, but if you had a lipo or a car battery, it would. Um, to channel, and so again, I'll zoom out and kind of see here in channel two, I've actually got this discharger bank connected to. I uh, don't know if I'll be able to really I'll zoom out again. You can kind of see the lead comes out, goes through this discharge bank. So I'm going to set it to channel. Um, so what is in the other cha channel? Another battery or uh, resistance or bulbs. So I've got I've got basically a um, discharge bank, so I've got a bank of resistors. Uh, and then I can set my voltage limit and my amperage again. So this is a 10 amp profile that I'm using. So I'm just gonna keep this at 10 amps as well. All right, so I'll go to advance is the other thing I set to extra and balance enable. Back. And so this one also, also what I'm going to do is set it as a cycle. So um, what I want it to do is uh, from, from a no prep standpoint, I'm going to do a pass with a, a full battery. Uh, and then I may want to discharge it and then charge it. So I'll take it down to, was it 3.5 volts per cell I had previously set, and then I want to charge it back up again. So I'm going to change this to discharge and charge, and I'm going to do it only once, and I don't want any delay. So when I hit um, cycle, this thing is going to dump it, charge it, automatically, I don't have to touch anything, it'll just tell me when the battery's uh, fully charged. And that's it. So that cycle there, so that profile now is safe. So if I wanna charge something, I'm gonna say, well, this is my 10 amp profile uh, with a, a discharge charge cycle. I can go into there, I want to cycle it. Yes, I want to cycle it. And now it's going to start discharging. And you can see it's going to discharge into this channel. So I'll zoom back out. You can see back here. So now, effectively, I've got current running through out of this channel through the resistor bank. So it's going to flatten the battery. And it'll, see it's at 10 amps, it'll work its way up. Uh, so it's going to discharge the battery uh, through the resistor bank and then when it's at 3.5 volts it's then going to recharge it without touching anything. Uh, stop that. And if I want to go back into that one and then say oh, I just want to put it in storage now, yes, it's just going to store it at 10 amps. So watch the amps run up. Uh, so this one it's still going to discharge it. So, so for storage as well, it's going to use the discharge bank. Uh, for, for example, I don't really need to show it. But again, uh, if I just want to charge, 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 
Uh, now it's going to charge at 10 amps. And that will just roll up to 10 amps. And the end voltage is going to be 4.22 volts. Uh, and that's it. So if I hit stop. So that's basically the um, how I set up my charge. So my profiles. So these these profiles here that are just standard charge profiles, charge or discharge. Um, so 30 amps. There's no regenerative discharge. Um, there's yeah, no, I haven't changed any of the cycles. I, I don't, I haven't used any of this sort of stuff. Um, but then if I go to my 30 amp cycle, I've got this already set. And the, so you can see here the, the discharge voltage, it's 30 amps, um, discharge to 3.65. And my cycle is set to discharge and charge once. Um, with, with no delay so pretty much depending on what I'm doing uh, depending on what battery I have uh, I may just have a little lipo that I use to power my range extender um, it's a new battery I might want to cycle or, or charge at once at 10 amps or 15 amps um, all the way up to uh, pretty much 35 amps I can go to 40 but generally it's about 35 is, is pretty much what I do at most um, but yeah that's how I set up my uh, iCharger